I mean, when it's fresh in your memory, can you kind of take me through their last bucket? It seems like there was a lot of contact down the free throw line. Just kind of what, what was your view of how that played down? Uh, I just got screened. I shouldn't have failed. I should have fought through it. Um, then she got the ball and made the layup. Uh-uh. And, I mean, I guess similar to last year, you look at the assist to turnover ratio, it's not good in you guys' favor. Um, just seemed like, you know, similar to last year, yeah, the ball wasn't moving as much maybe in the second half. Is that a fair assessment? Is that something that still needs to kind of be worked on for you guys? Yeah, I think uh, that's something we're going to all work on. Um, uh, I think uh, game by game, it's our first game coming out of the season, so – um, we have some things to get back in the gym, work on. Um, we're trying to get 1% one, 1 better every game. So, yes, working on uh, passing the ball more and sharing it. So a lot of times kind of a little, little bit of a piggyback here, it kind of felt like there were games where, you know, you look down at the stats and you're like, oh, okay, you've scored, you know, 15, 20 points. Um, very much felt like that again tonight. Um, particularly towards that fourth quarter, really stepping up and everything. When you have those moments, you feel your start, yourself starting to like get into that game a little bit more. What's kind of running through your mind? Um, I don't really like pay attention to how much I scored like within a spurt, but I, I know that um, my team relies on me, the coaches rely on me. Um, when I have the ball in the hands, it's like, all right, my Caroline, Susha, the rest of uh, the team is like, they have the confidence in like Kiki. They know Kiki's gonna get a bucket. They know this. So just um, having like a whole team behind me, 14 other girls behind me. I know that I'll I'll go with any war, into any war with them. And then from looking from an outside in perspective, um, it looked like there was a lot of shuffling as to who you guys were playing with and all that kind of stuff. Um, what's been the benefit of having you know so many different players kind of come in at different spots throughout this game it's crazy um we have different personalities we have uh different skill levels we have different um uh i wouldn't say confident levels but we have different um scenarios like you can put me to the four you can put caroline to the two put Jim jimmy at the one you can play um you can go big put deja and um Sushin, you can put cheyenne and Sushin. so it's just we're just trying to figure out uh, our rotations and how we can all play together It's great. <laughs> um, I guess for Caroline and Susha, you know, similar to what I was asking Kiki about, you know, the second half, it maybe the ball mm -hmm. stuck a little bit more. You guys were, you know, getting into the offense early. What what sort of changed in the second half where maybe it was a little more difficult? Um, I think with their zone press, uh, we got a little bit like we didn't like less aggressive with the ball and. We're still trying to figure out how like like break that up press and just like push the ball being more aggressive. I think that's what we messed messed up like on the second quarter. Yeah, um, I mean I think we have to learn how to keep the level of effort consistently throughout the game more. So like we start like pretty well the first half and then we have to like learn as a team how to keep that level of energy throughout the whole game. Um, so, all three of you can answer this one, but, um, you know, playing against the reigning American East Conference champion right now and, you know, being able to really take it down to the wire, what does that kind of show for what potential this team can have in this, in this first game alone? Um, I think it's great um, saying that we only had, like, two scrimmages, an inter-squad scrimmage. We have, like, transfers coming in, um, freshmen playing. So, just um, – to go against a team like Maine, um, I think it's an eye opener. Uh, like I said, we do need to go back in the gym, like watch film, um, tighten up on some things. But I think that if we can compete with them, we'll be okay. Um, we'll see like better teams. So just keep playing JMU basketball, and we'll be okay. Real quick, Kiki, can you just kind of tell us like what your reaction was when O told you you were going to play that Millersville game and you know, oh. coming together late? What that means to you? I just want like us hug Coach O. Like that's just stuff he does. That's the type of uh, coach he is. Um, Millersville is like 15 minutes, which y'all know that. But um, I'm just excited to go back home. Um, my grandma finally gets to see me play in person, so I'm excited for that. But um, just a shout out to Coach O, honestly, and all of JMU. 
I don't even want to say we played hard enough to win. We didn't play hard enough to win, but I wanted to win the game. Um, I think we're, we're a team still trying to figure ourselves out. Um, a lot of new faces, a lot of different combinations. I still don't know what's best. Um, so it's going to be a part of our journey. Go ahead. Yeah, um, you know, early on, I guess, for lack of a better word, the offense seemed more diverse than last year. You know, Caroline penetrating, Sush posting up. And then it kind of reverted back to all Kiki again, and you end up with four assists. Just, I mean, feels the same, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, is it disappointing just to kind of look back and see a lot of the same things that kind of haunted you last year? Um, yeah. Um, it's funny, Shane. I, I thought the exact same thing. So I'm sitting in this in the staff locker room, and I, I thought to myself, like, this feels the exact same. It feels like, all right, we, we start out the game. I think we're playing really good defense. I think we're trusting each other on defense. And then when it gets tight, we're not as much. Now it becomes a much more isolated defensive effort for me. Um, and we lacked a little bit of discipline, but I think that can come with time. Um, and for me, it's like, it just, it, it did, it, f it felt the same. It was, it was more of, um, I mean, I don't know. It's a little bit of Kiki time, right? And she comes, she, she makes baskets, you know, um, but it felt the same way. There wasn't movement it w and, all right, let's do that the whole game. Let's have 40. Like, but, but there was – we didn't play with that same offensive urgency until the fourth where we were like, hey, all right, we're just going to go downhill. It was like we were so timid. Jamia was timid. Steph was timid. And it's like – it's just you can't play that way on offense, right? On offense, you got to play free. you got to share the ball. you got to move, right? And their, their press, their press um, messed with us a little bit in that, in that way because it, it didn't allow us to get in an offensive rhythm at all. We were we – were, breaking the press and it was like where is everybody and, and so it forced us out of our sets which is I think how we score the best right now um, but to, to you know to me man you get you get two rebounds you you have it like you win a game that's what I think and it, it doesn't it, I know it's not down to one or two possessions it's not how this thing works um, and I don't want it but like I thought we, we we didn't finish possessions at the end of the game and that cost us the game you talk about having new combinations, still trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work. What what went into your decision as to who the starting five were and who was coming off the bench to start today's game? I mean, it's how we've been. Um, I'm not sure to how we be. It, it, it will be how we we will be. Um, you know, that, that group, I think um, Caroline's earned everything she's got. I think Jamia um, has earned everything she's got uh, and down the line, right? And so it's, it's – um, it's an evolving puzzle, right? So everybody sees Peyton and Claire out there. They've had no preseason, right? So like they, I could count on, on on this hand how many times they've they've practiced, and I can count less than what's on this hand how many times they've they've done a full total practice, right? And so like, it's, no one sees that, right? It, they just see like, oh, Peyton's out there playing seven minutes, right? And so. Um, if, if Peyton had a full 30 practices, is she starting? You know, I don't know what, what combination. You know, we ended up going with a, a smaller lineup because I thought we might guard better with Kiki at the four. Uh, Amira, I thought, was, was being disruptive. Uh, Jamia was solid and, and Caroline at the one, and we threw Steph in and out there. Um, but they've earned that. Those stars have earned that. Um, but my problem is I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know this team yet. And it, it's hard. I mean, we're in a dogfight in our first game. I find out more about them than if we play somebody else. But um, I, I'm learning. I'm learning. Like, Amir played five minutes in the first half, 17 minutes in the second half. Because I'm like, all right, five minutes. Well, like, okay, I was trying to get Peyton in there. All right, Peyton seemed good offensively, but struggled defensively a little bit, I thought. I think her mind is 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 – faster than her body is right now um so it was like all right we got to get stops let me use a mirror a little bit more so so we've got we've got depth but um for me it's a evolving process of getting to know the whole group and the combinations of the group because i haven't had i haven't had that you talk about you mentioned it you know trying to find what this team is what you guys' identity is and how a dog fight can be one of the easiest ways were there any sort of takeaways that you were able to figure out or is it too soon for you to really be able to put no, anything yes, together no yes we have to get tougher and we have to rebound it's what it's what i've talked about from the start it, it, it's the difference in the game 
Okay, if you if you get a rebound, they don't get the baseline out of bounds. If you get a rebound, Smith doesn't get the, the putback and, and, and where she makes the layup. Those, that's two huge possessions down the stretch of the game. And I don't believe it has anything to do other than, than just total effort. And so that, that's number one on my list. Defensively, I mean, I, t- I mean, you're playing a team blind, right? You know they're running, they're running a Princeton-style offense, but we don't really know them like that. Um, they got a lot of newcomers, too. But yeah, man, Rockwood, we had Rockwood as a shooter and we're closing out short to her. Like, that's not it. Um, so for me, it's if we let's say we won 61 60, how much of this stuff is is like brushed under? Like, oh, yeah, well, we still got it done. No, I'm glad we didn't get it done because like it needs to be the band aid needs to be ripped off. Like, no, nah, man, th- these are the discipline things that you need to do to win the game. Um, and that's just defensively and rebounding. It doesn't – offensively is a different – a little bit different ballgame. I don't think it's as disciplined offensively, right? It's an ability to free and play confidence – play with confidence on offense. I guess building off a little bit of that, how close are you to being able to get more like 20 minutes each from Claire and Peyton than 20 total? I mean, I, I could have played them 20 minutes. Like, really, I, I, they're, they're, they're clear to do that, but it, it's like – I mean, in all, in all honesty, it's like how many people know how to play with Peyton out there, right, because of those reps. And so it's, it's a weird answer to the question, right? Like she is capable right now of playing 20. Um, but you, you see what I'm saying? Like she hasn't done that. She hasn't, you know, um, if we're doing a, a three-minute scrimmage in practice two days ago, she's not doing that. So it's like there's I think getting to know each other and, and gelling as a team is just going to take a second so like yeah I would like to um and I think if it was an easier game um to guard I probably would have um I got a whole lot of confidence in Peyton but man th- th- that style of offense man it's like a Drexel thing it's it's they'll expose you and so it's like I just and I don't even know I, it's not like the glaring things that I saw in in her it was just like I just thought it was like a step slow and tougher for her to guard and I wanted to use a mirror instead but yeah we got some tough combinations of, of, of what we're going to figure out here quickly what was your view of their final basket like with the collision and whatever I don't I'm not even sure exactly what um I mean I, just, I, I, I mean, I saw it. I saw it. It was like slow motion to me. Um, but there was nothing. It was just nothing I could. I mean, there's nothing you can do or say about it. It's just I saw it slow motion, and it didn't. It was like, oh, this is. They're gonna. It's gonna be a layup right here. Um, but that. That's what I got for you. <laughs> and uh, how would you describe the energy coming off the bench tonight? And there was. A lot of exciting things coming from players who even weren't stepping on the court, but just the energy in total coming from the team tonight. How could you describe that and just some of the positives that came from that? Yeah, um, I thought we did a good job. Um, I mean, yes, I thought we did a good job. Um, I would like all those bodies to be healthy, of course, right? Um, but that that's what, um, like to Shane's point a little bit, right? It felt the same for me initially, but it's a, it's. I feel like it's it's better. I feel like the energy is better. I feel like um, the information, the scouting is better. Like all that stuff is 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 better, including the bench energy. Um, I thought even that some of the freshmen coming off the bench in their first game. Um, I thought it was good. I thought there's a there's a good energy, but it's it's. It's not just all of a sudden going to be like that, right? It's a gradual shift, and, and hopefully um, we can stay focused on, on just the process of it all and getting to know each other and keep continuing to bring enthusiasm um, because I think that, that that's contagious. Well, you talk about having this gradual thing. It's not going to happen overnight, everything like that. For you as a coach, how are you reminding yourself that, you know, it's going to be baby steps and then it's going to be big steps and then it's going to be walking and eventually you're going to get – you're going to get to a point where you're running. Hmm. Um, I'm trying my best. That's the best way I can put it. Um, no, nah, because, it, yeah, like today, yeah, I wanted, you know, uh, they fought in there. And they, f- they fought to what they think is the best that they can do. And it's not. But, yeah, it's a, it's a long season. And do I want to lose this game? Absolutely not. But it's a long season. And 
you can't let the emotion control you. You know, for for me, it's it's all right. That was game. That was game one. What's what? What do we got next? Let's try to be better, right? If if we can get you know that um, what's that book? Atomic Habits or something. So you can just get one percent better every performance. Then then you got thirty percent better by the end of the year. That's it's not a bad number. Um, I take sixty, maybe seventy five percent better. But right, so it's it's gradual, and and I'm not I'm not making excuses for this at all because I think it's a winnable game. We should have, um, but the group the group is very um, new to each other. That's all, and so that's that's going to take some time to to gel, and that's okay.